لو شيك حمزه يس شيك حمزه بيس اب اون يو هاو ار يو دوينج ماي فريند اي ام فيري فاين All right. I have a question for you because you believe in the Quran only. If you don't mind, you can help me. What the word what the word what the word rijal mean? Rijal mean? Let us go to the verse. Huh? Which chapter? Which chapter? Which chapter do you get this from? Let us go there. Oh, where is where it says that? He gave me the chapter of the Quran. Let you us go there. Okay, chapter uh, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. The first word in Arabic, yep. it says Rijal, a Rijal. Uh, four verse number what? Chapter four, verse number 34. Number 34. Hmm. Let us go there, 34. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Husband should take care. Let me read it. So what the first word mean, Rijal? What Rijal mean? Rijal. The first word is okay. Rijal. That is the man. Man. Okay. Thank you. So when we say Rijal, we mean a human, right? Yes. They are not like. Uh... So, according to this sentence. Huh? Depending on the sentence. Huh? Depending on the sentence. Oh, it can be Rijal. They are women. No, oh, Rijal is man. Okay. So man is a human. Yes. So what you are saying depends on the sentence. I said a result means that is men. Mean so men. Is so is, is men is a human or they are not a human? They are human, just like Jesus. Okay. If there is any result, they are not a, they are not a human. Result like uh, are you talking about gene or I'm asking what other is, is is result is for uh, uh, there is uh, the word result uh, mean men. You uh, you agreed right? It means men, yes. It means okay, men. but men are human, correct? You say? Men are human. We don't say men for different kind of creatures. Who, who told you that? I am, I am an Arab. I speak Arabic. Okay. So what is the what you got for me? What question do you got for me? No, I want I want you to confirm first because you claim to be a sheikh. So I'm asking you, confirm to me: is the word rijal used for a human or for any other creatures? It used for uh, a human being. Huh? It used for a human being. The rijal for a human being. Yes. All right. So how the Quran says that the genie are rijal? Yes, they are also, they are also male, male genie. Human, the, the genie are, uh, they are human? They are also male and female among them. No, you see, this is male. Male is not the same as Rijal. Rijal means men. So I ask you, you see, men, listen, yes. listen, listen, listen. In Arabic, listen, in Arabic, the word dhakar means male. We have a word for dhakar. Dhakar means male. And can be used for anything. Can be used for a human, for a dog, for a donkey, for anything. But the word rijal, and I ask you, and you, you confirm already, you confirm already, I ask you that I spent the first five minutes talking to you just to confirm that the word rijal is, uh, is for men or a human, and you said yes. You, you ask me, is it for a woman? It is for a woman? Yes, it is also used for a human being. So, what are you talking about? What also it human being? Be rijal be, is only for, for rijal, is a word mean men. You said that. Yes, I said it means okay. men. It, can you I'm give me, can you give me, can, can you use the word men with a dog? Men with a dog? No, yeah. but genie. Why we cannot? Because in the genie. If, if, if you are lying because. saying to me that it's mean male, you just because. said, you just lied and you said this is word mean male. But you just said we can use it with a dog. We, uh, we have a male dog. Can we oh, call him Rijal? I did not say that. I did not say that. I said it can be used for genes because the genes are also have male and female among the genes. But the word Rijal does not mean male and female. Rijal mean I ask, I just ask you, can we say the dog is Rijal, which means a male dog? No, but genie. So how come we cannot use it for for uh, uh, for dogs? Because okay. because it is human because it is human and gene that. They were to worship Allah. Allah created them to worship Him. 
in this well, isn't it the isn't it the, the the animals worship Allah too animal yeah animal can worship Allah but those who the book was revealed to them so to you are Allah you are mixing really. things up what does have to do with worshiping Allah so now we find all of them are worshiping Allah even the Quran says the moon the stars the mountains the earth the trees everything worship Allah so don't mess your send things up Focus with me, Abdul. Focus. Let, let me, so let me, the word reject, you you said you said you said everybody everybody heard you. The word reject. Listen, the word reject mean men, and this is only for a human, and you confirm that in the first five minutes. No. You confirm it's that it's so. recorded. It's recorded. Ask me. You huh? ask me, is it you for men? I say uh, for human being. I said yes. I did not say only human being. I did not say only for human being. But Rijal, but Rijal mean men, correct? Rijal mean men, yes. Okay, but men mean a human being. Men? No, <laughs> the gene also, we have men in the gene, among the gene. Okay, in which dictionary it says that men are not a human being? In which dictionary it says what? Where you got that Rijal can be used for any other things except a human being. Rijal is for a human being, men. You said men. You agreed that the men mean men. Okay. Where we can find in Arabic dictionary that men mean not a human being. Men can also can also be referred because because the gene are not physical. Human being cannot see them. They are not physical, the so gene? How? The gene are not physical? So how the gene are not physical? They, you can can you see them? No. What, what do you mean? Can you can you can you can, can you explain to me what do you mean by they are not physical? What I mean here that they are not physical is that you cannot see them. Woman cannot study them. So they don't have a physical body. They don't have physical body like you, like no. No, no. You cannot see. I want you to confirm for me. I don't don't tell me like you, not me. I want to know: Do they have a physical body or not? I said they don't have physical body like you. I'm giving an example like don't you. Don't tell me like me. I don't care. Like me, like you, like a chicken, don't care. Physical is physical. So do, do they have a physical body? Do they have a physical body or not? That's why I'm taking an example like you. They have body, but they don't have body like you. Okay, so are they, they do they have a, so they don't have body at all, correct? They, they have body, but the body is not like you. What, what do you mean they what don't do have you mean, body how, Okay, you just told me they are not physical. Yes, they are not physical like you. There's a, no. What I mean? No, you say they are not physical. What I mean? You did not say only that. You said they are not physical, which means they don't have a physical body. I said they are not physical like you. Okay. So, they so are they? Okay, like hold on. So now they are physical, right? But it's not like you. It doesn't matter. Are they physical, physical or not? Are they, it's, it's, they say, just they say to me, I mean, why Muslim they have to go around the bushes always? Say they have a physical body, yes, or you say no, they don't have physical body. I said they have body, but it's not like us, like this. So they have body. Okay, so they have a body. Yes. All right. So now, but it's not, those it's not those like who have body. body, how come we cannot see them if they have body? How come you cannot see them if they if they have body? Yeah. Because uh -huh. your own God also have body. Why can't you not see him? I don't understand what. I said your your God has one ear. Why you don't see him? Well, I don't understand. I mean, your own God has only one ear. Why can't you not see him? My God will have one. One what? One ear. One ear. I don't understand. God, what he's saying? Okay, let me. I I I mean, your God has nose. He has one ear. He has legs. Right. Oh, oh no, we can see him. Jesus come to the earth when he came with his body. We can oh, see no, him. Not Jesus. It is the God of Jesus. You are lying. Oh, okay. There's no. There's. Listen, hold on. Even if you say that this is not Jesus, when God he came to Abraham, the the Bible says he came. They came as a man. No, let us go there. You, you know, don't teach me my faith. So now let us focus with me. So now. If the, so we we see we saw our God who have a physical body and even we touch his no. hand and we saw the nails in his hand. So now don't go there. Now as long no. those genie, okay, as long the genie is a person who have a physical body, does that mean shaitan have a physical body? 
Shaitan, Shaitan has his own body, but it's not like your own. Just like the angels. Okay, I want to ask you, like Shaitan, Allah, he kicked only one Shaitan from heaven. You said that Shaitan, you said there is male and female? Shaitan was an angel before he was transformed into I know, I know, but we know that, we know that. But I'm asking you, the Quran mentioned, and you are a Quran only. The Quran mentioned yes. that genies, uh, he called them men. And you agree with that, right? There are men and female among them. There where are also men where in the Quran it says there is male and female genie? Okay, let us go to a verse. Which verse? The verse that you mentioned that it says... Um, no, you know, you see, you just told me, Abdul, you just told me that in the Quran it two. says there is male and female genie. Show me the verse. Okay, let me show you the verse. Um, uh huh. Come, come here. Mm. Remember, you are a Quran only. So now you are in trouble. People will die laughing at you if you cannot find the verse. Do you want to call a friend? Um, yeah, ask, ask those guys next to you. Ask them, maybe they can help you to find the female genie in the Quran. Okay. Hmm. I'll give you male or female. Give me, give me. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Prophet Google is not working with you. It's okay. It's not Prophet Google. Ah, well, yeah. I, if not Prophet Google, then you shouldn't give me right away. I mean, just tell me where. I will open it for you right now. Okay, let us go to. Let us go to chapter uh, uh, surat, uh, what, what chapter is this? Mm. You are a shaker, do not know what a chapter it is. Mm. No, you, 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 just tell me, okay, just, just give me the chapter number. Oh, chapter number, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have six. Chapter. From Suratul Al Jin, six. Huh? sorry, Suratul Jin, Suratul Jin, verse number six. Suratul Jin, verse number six. Okay, what it says? Read for me. Read, read it for us. You read it. You read it. Verse number six. Suratul Jin, verse number six. Okay, and though uh, and there were men from mankind, uh, -huh. uh who seek refuge in men from the jinn. Uh. -huh. Mm. Uh -huh. So we are men in jinn from the jinn. Uh huh. So there is men from the what the translation you are reading? Translation of um, let me see, say international. Say international. So it says they are men from the jinn, right? Men of the jinn. Men from the jinn. Okay. See, guys, I told you. The correct translation is men from the jinn and Sheikh Hamza, peace be upon him, he confirmed that. So the Muslim translation, they hide it. They don't say the word men, but he is an honest person. He finally, he said men of the jinn. So now you gave me this verse to find me that there's male and female. Where is the female genie? There are men in the jinn. What does that mean? What? If there are men in the jinn, then they have to be female in genie. Oh, oh, okay, As, uh, guys, th if there is a male genie, that means there is a female genie. No, Allah, he said, he created male genie. He did not say uh, female genie. And not only that, he did not say even male. He said rijal, which means men. And you are the one who confirmed the word men, which means they are human. 
woman? And you are the one who said that you can find me from the Quran a female genie. Did you confirm that or not? I said man genie. Then you added female genie later. No, you said you will find me a verse from the Quran saying that there is a female genie. You say that. If, if they are male genie, then they also have to be female genie. So men genie, okay, uh, uh, so we, we spoke about why we cannot use the word men for genie because men mean a human. But I will go with it right now. The verse here says that men from the human and men from the genie. So now we have a group of men from genie and we have a group of men from a human. Now, the first shaitan, Allah he created, he, is, he, was, he was one of the jinn, correct? When it is believed he was transformed into jinn, he become one of the jinn now. Okay. When Allah he kicked the first shaitan, which is Iblis, do we agree from heaven? He, he kicked him only alone. Do you agree? Yes, he kicked him from the heaven because he, he become one of the jinn. Yeah, but do you agree he kicked him only him? The only jinn he was kicked is him. Where where did you get that? From the Quran. Aren't you Quran aren't you Quran only? Let us go to the verse. You only. tell me. Okay, you tell me. You okay. Okay, no, no. Hold on, hold on. You see, I, I'm going with you today. I'm trying to be patient with you. Tell me. Give me the correct answer. How many genie Allah kicked out from heaven? The Quran never gave a number. Is if, if, if you are talking about numbers, can you tell me how many angels are there in your Bible? Listen, the Quran gave us numbers. What are you talking about? Allah, he said, Illa Iblisa Abba. Iblis is the name of the genie who refused so there's only one you claim that you know no, your quran but obviously you do not it is not one because the quran said he was one of the genes so there are many genes no but he was no one of no, no you see you, 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 you see the muslim have low iq i said how many of them were no, kicked out of IQ. heaven listen listen how many genie were kicked out of heaven listen carefully how many genie the quran, how many the quran never gave number. what the Quran never give numbers. No, the Quran tell us it's one genie only. His name is Iblis. No, the Quran does not say only. Let us go to the verse and I'll school you. Okay, here we go. You know, we will go to the Quran, chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-one. A chapter seven, verse number Shut eleven. Shut up. A chapter fifteen, verse number thirty-two. A chapter seventeen, verse number sixty-one. A chapter uh, eighteen, one. verse number. Shut up. A chapter. Sh shut up. A chap, a chap, you know, why you keep talking? What's wrong with you? So it says only one guy, his name is Iblis. No. His name is Iblis, no, and is this not, is the only genie. It does not say only because the Quran okay, says. Okay, okay, hold on, guys. Genie. It doesn't say only, it says he ordered all of them except one person, his name is Iblis. What do you mean he doesn't? You, you, are, you are claiming to be a sheikh, and you are saying it doesn't say only. You see, you don't allow me talk. Ah. The verse does not say only. What the verse says is that he, uh, he believes that is Satan. He was one of the jinn when it when it is believed. Okay, only As one. Okay, are you, are you stupid or what? It says only one person did not obey. No. What do you mean no? Among the among the angels. What among the angels is, is is okay? Is genie? By the way, this is a stupid mistake in the Quran. Is shaitan no. is an angel in Islam? The angel shaitan was once of was an angel before he was converted. Ah, into the he was once an angel. Can you show me that in the Quran? Yes. Okay, go ahead. It says uh, chapter. Uh huh. In chapter. Uh huh. Allah, Allah said to all the angels, uh -huh. bow down yourself to Adam. Uh -huh. Allah said to the angels. So Satan was among the angels first uh -huh. before he transformed into Jinn. Okay. So except Jinni and he was one of the Jinn. It says that in the front of you. Are you stupid or what? Except when it is believed he was one of the Jinn. Example, example, it also says that when it is believed he was one of the disbelievers. Hold on, hold on. No, Abdul, 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 Abdul. Does the Quran say, does the Quran say, and it's you who just told me a minute ago that Shaitan was one of the jinn, you donkey, you forgot. Yes, he was one of the jinn because... Okay, so what you are saying to me, he was one of the angels before. Where it says that? Because, listen to the verse, 
you're gonna list in three verse. It says, Allah says to the end. Okay, Abdul, Abdul. Okay. Angels. How many? Let us focus, Abdul. focus, focus with me. I, w I want more, something more important. How many Allah He kicked from the heaven? If there is any beside Iblis, the Quran says only one person. His name is Iblis. He refused no. to bow down. The Quran does not say only one person. It says the Quran that. Says it does not say only one person. It does not say that. It says what? It does not say only one person. It just gives us it gives us the story of Iblis only. That does not mean that it, it is says only all of them they bow down. It says all they bow down except Iblis. All except Ibl all is, is Iblis a name of an individual all or a, is Iblis a name of an individual or a group? Iblis is only one. Okay, so it says except uh, one. So here we go, guys. He gave me the answer. Uh, he's only one. So now. all of them they bow down except Iblis. He's only. This is, huh? this is referring when he was an angel. <laughs> Allah says to all Abdul, angels, Abdul, listen, listen. I don't know okay. what kind of religion you follow, but you are a potato like your prophet. It says except no, Iblis, no, except no, Iblis. okay. Listen, listen. If I say. Oh, I said all the cat they say meow except Susu. Susu is the only one that not say meow. Do we agree? Yes, among the cats. Exactly. By then. Among okay, no, no problem. So now, so so Allah, Allah, is he going to punish all the jinn and kick them out or he will kick only the one who disobey? Okay, let me answer now. You're going you're gonna to listen to me because... Your fans are not going to give you money your petrol account again. The Quran says that Iblis was once an angel. So Allah commanded the angels. At that time, Iblis was an angel. He is not a jinn yet. So when it is believed to Allah, then Allah make him one of the jinn. He become a jinn now. Are you stupid by birth or you took take drugs? Listen, Abdul, listen carefully. I am saying when Iblis, he disobeyed, did Allah kick anyone beside Adam and Eve and Iblis? The Quran does not say that. What do you mean? It's only him who refused to obey. Allah said to him, Hey Iblis, what made you not to join the others in prostration? Iblis replied, I don't want to prostrate before a human being whom you have created out of mud, right? Yes. Okay. So then Allah, he told him, get out of it. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. He, he told him, you see, you, you just said yes. He told him, one person. Yes. Okay. He told him because, because okay. at that time is the only one. All right. Because all right. So guys, at that time, at that time, focus with me. Focus with me. Abdul, I'm trying to make you go to, the, uh, to, to like to, just to take you to the airplane. So now. Only Iblis is the one who disobey and Allah and you agree with me Allah says to him get out of it and you said yes because he was the only one did that okay now Iblis he is out shut up shut up Iblis is out of heaven where is the female he is going to sleep with her of all the genie that is still in heaven let me answer now hmm. okay I like your question, but you don't want me to finish. Okay. The, uh -huh. Firstly, Satan, there are they are genes. Before the Satan was an angel, they are those who disbelieve against Allah. Because the Quran says when it disbelieved, it was one of the disbelievers. So that means that there are many Abdul, who the jinn, they are believers. Are you stupid or what? The jinn, they are believers. Some of them disbelieve against Allah. No, That's even, even Shaitan, you are a certified donkey. You do not know your religion. Even Shaitan is a believer. You want to challenge me? He was once a believer. Now he's not a believer. No, even after he becomes Shaitan, he is a believer. You want to challenge me? I want to challenge you. Okay, if I show you the reference right now in front of everybody, do you promise you to open the camera and do the monkey dance? If you do not show me, if you are running away from the topic, do you will really to open the camera and do a monkey dance for me? I accept. Okay, let us go there. You are All right. So, guys, he accept if I show him the reference that Iblis is a believer, he will yes. open the camera and do the monkey dance for us. All right, here we go. This is the Quran. Mm. Do you see my screen? No, just give me the verse. Just, just, oh, okay, just I will give you the verse. No problem. 
in a second people will see if you will keep your promise or not chapter 15 verse number 39 shaitan he called allah my lord my god yes oh. what do you so, mean yes so you mean you what do you mean, mean yes? You, you said to me he's this. Uh, you told me he is a disbeliever. This is out. Of, uh, this is who, after. Who is a believer? <laughs> who is a believer? What? Who is a, let me <laughs> look. Look, you just exposed the ignorant. So Satan called Allah as my Lord. That uh -huh. makes him a believer. A believer is the person who obeys the command of Allah. Well, he is obeying. Listen, listen, Abdul. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you wanna call him my lord if he don't accept him to be a lord? <laughs> Who wanna call Allah? Listen, I don't call Allah my God. So a disbeliever is the one who don't accept Allah. Listen, shut up, shut up. A disbeliever, a disbeliever is someone who don't accept Allah to be God. A munafiq, a munafiq. Shut up. A munafiq is somebody. He say something and he believe in something else. That's what Muslim they say. So now, Shaitan he call Allah my God, my God, Rabbi, not only Lord, Rabbi, my God. So he call him my God, and not only that, they made an agreement. And the verse in the front of us, by the way, it says that because you did mislead me, I'm going to mislead them. Can you read the verse for us? Let me let me explain now. So. Satan, because Satan can you read, can God, you read the verse for us? For, can you read the can you read the can you read the verse? Can you read the verse for us? I will read the verse, but let me finish. The, read the verse for us because we want to show people something very important. Okay, chapter 15, verse number what? 39. 39, 15, verse number 39. Hmm. Okay, 15, verse 39. Hmm. James chapter 2, verse 19, the gene, the demon believe in your God. So, I don't know whether they're a believer. Read, read. Verse 39. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Verse 33, okay. Okay, it says that Satan is speaking now. He says, my Lord, you have put me in the wrong and, and I will show my, and, and I will show, I will lose mankind on earth and put them in the wrong, in the wrong. Hmm. In your translation, you it says, them. in your translation, it says, you put me in the wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes, since you have mislead me, it's the same thing. Since you have mislead me, mislead me. I'm okay, thank you, guys. Me. Guys, did you hear what he said? Allah, he misled Shaitan. Yes. Okay, so who is Shaitan in Islam? Is 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 the the demon? Is the angel? Is is the Satan? No, 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 no. Hold on. You just say that Shaitan himself, Iblis, Satan, he was misled by Allah. You said that. Yes, because he disbelieved. Okay, hold on. How Allah misled Shaitan? So Shaitan is a victim of Allah. No, let me explain now. Okay, who is the one who misled who? No, no, no. If I mislead somebody, if I mislead somebody, I am the one who misled him, or he misled himself. Okay, let me answer now. Uh huh. The reason why Allah mislead, Allah mislead because mm -hmm. the person after disbelief in Him, after the person Allah knows the future. If the person is not gonna come back to Allah, you know, he sees the truth, but he's running away from the truth. Allah is gonna mislead him by not making no, 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 him. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, you, you are jumping like a monkey from a place to place. Listen. So oh, because I'm because because uh, listen, the, the, the until the moment Allah He command uh, He command everybody to bow down, and He was talking to the angels, and Shaitan is not even an angel. However, the story is very funny. And now Shaitan, he refused because this is supposedly shirk because why in the world Shaitan should bow down to a human if a human is a human, is not God. So Islam and Allah is the first one who teach uh, uh, shirk. Secondly, shut up. Secondly, secondly, you said Allah, he misled uh, uh, Shaitan. Tell me how he misled him. The action, what is the action? Okay, let me answer now. Hmm. You says that how... Uh, first, he said, how can Satan bow down to a human being if a human being is no God? 
return, they were commanded to bow down to Adam in respect, just like the Bible says, uh, people Abraham bowed down to people. Is, 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 is the people God now? No. Abraham mm. bowed down to people in respect. Yeah, but, the this, this, what is, but this is different. This is God. God is asking no. even the angels, which, which one is better, human or angels in Islam? So Abraham bowed down to the people. Listen, listen, who is better, uh, human or angels in Islam? Wait, so uh, why did Abraham bow down to the, bow down to the people? Uh, don't change topic. Why a human being should be bowed down and he is a sinner, not angels. Actually, the angel did not sin in Islam. According to Islam, not even a single angel commits sin. If there is any angel in Islam commits sin, Hello. Do you have any proof for that? So, um, if there is, uh, uh, did you hear, did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? It, it, do angels commit sin in Islam? Those who committed sin are going to be thrown out, as 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 the genie. Okay. What what is the commit sin here? The 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 the, the genie, you said he was an angel, and he refused to bow down. Is that because he is proud? Because. The Quran says they should bow down to Adam in respect, just as Abraham did to the people. No, no, listen, listen, don't change topic. What, what Abraham have to do with this? I'm Potato, Abdul, Abdul, what, what Abraham bought to people? What are you talking about? Potato, what are you talking about? Listen, listen, focus, focus with me, focus with me. When shaitan, when shaitan refused to, shut up, when shaitan refused to bow down, is that because he is a proud? It is because... It is because he, yes, he's, he's proud. He's arrogant. Okay, he is arrogant. arrogant. He is a proud. Oh, guys, be my witness. So if I show you that the Quran says that angels they cannot be arrogant and proud, are you going now to do the monkey dance? Bring the verse, and if the verse don't, don't say tell that, me read the verse. If I show you, you see, each time I show you something. Now I want a promise of a man. Obviously, you are not a man. So if I show you the Quran saying that angels do not. Go arrogant and they are not proud. What you will do? You will promise me to do the monkey dance? Before we go there, if <laughs> before, they that, before they go the there, no, you promise me. You said you just said they don't do that. You said yes, they don't. Yes, the Quran says all the angels bow down. You know, they bow down to This is another question. This is this this is not what I ask you. This is not what I ask you. I ask you, do angels uh, 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 do, do you, you claim that shaitan is an angel? Right, and he was proud, and then because he's a proud, Allah kicked him out. And then I say to you, if I show you that the Quran says that angels, all of them, the none of them is a proud. Are you going to dance the monkey dance? A promise of a man. Let us go there. Yes. Don't say let us go there. Each time I show you, this is the last chance before I send you to Allah. Do you promise me to you do the monkey dance? I said, if you don't, if you fail to show me, you are gonna do a monkey. Dance. Shut up! <laughs> do you think really I'm debating you? I just, I'm bored. <laughs> Are you serious? You stupid donkey! You do not know two verses in your book. This is the Quran. You know, uh, uh, the, the 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 angels. They don't. Uh, you know, uh, you know, they are not proud. The Quran described them that they don't do such an act. The donkey, he said, he claimed that the opposite. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? You cannot find one. You see, they they try to duct tape their stupid, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, religion. Let us go to the Quran. Donkey, stupid. I'm just playing with you. You are no match. In any way, in any mean. You cannot even handle me. I know, I don't, I don't want you to do the, the, the monkey dance, by the way, because you, you will look ugly. This is what the Quran says. Angels don't do arrogant, and they are not proud. Chapter 16, verse number 49. You stupid idiot. Remember, you talk to Christian Prince. Didn't you read the article 
they taught you how to debate question first never say yes never say no let him show me first show me first do you know guys why the muslim they keep saying to me show me first show me first because they wrote articles about how to debate christian prince if a christian prince says to you prophet muhammad was wonderful man don't say yes there's a trap don't ever say yes if he said to you he was wonderful don't go for it say don't uh, what are you trying to say uh, what do you what do you mean if christian prince says to you allah must be god don't say yes there is something fishy behind. Be careful. Never say yes, never say no. Tell him, show me, show me, what do you mean, what do you mean? So then, after I show them, they can adjust the answer. For this is the son of the serpent religion. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.